Hi there, my name is Emily. I'm going to talk to you about carrier oils and tell you about four different carrier oils which have incredible properties and um, it's really, really important to kind of really know when to use the right carrier oil so that you don't end up um, really oily when you're using your aromatherapy or, um, you know, or, or irritating something. So the first thing I'll say is that if you have kind of like skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, if it's quite irritable, the tendency is to kind of like put lots and lots of um, oil on. The skin doesn't like that. You know, the skin will actually prefer, irritated skin prefers much more water-based or light oils um, because it, it's going to react against it. Okay, so when you're, when you're thinking about kind of um, using oil to, to, to bring moisture into the skin. Also consider the fact that you may want to use something water-based like a hydrosol or a hydrosol blended with an oil. You know, lots and lots of moisturizers based on um, hydrosols blended with oils as well. Um, there are some beautiful recipes out there that you can make your own. Um, yeah, so just if, if you're trying to remember as well, these things are always symptoms which get to be tuned into. Um, I do provide the service of doing shamanic journeys into various conditions. Um, yeah, so just be aware that less is always, always more. Um, so the first oil I want to tell you about is Hypericum. Um, this comes out as a really deep um, red color. It's a macerated oil. So a macerated oil is when you've got the flowers usually or, or the or the leaves and you've put them in a carrier oil and then you've left them in the sunlight in a, in a sealed um, jar for around six weeks and what happens is that the um, the essential oil element the 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 um, therapeutic ingredient of the plant gets transferred into um, into the oil and if you've ever put garlic in olive oil you know as on, on your table whatever for for, for um, you know for, for, for your preservatives or, or things like that and to add to your pizzas or your or your breads that's exactly what's happening the whole of the olive oil smells of garlic just like if you use um, a rosemary macerate the whole of the oil is going to smell of rosemary just like you use a hypericum um, macerate the whole of the oil smells of the whole of the oil smells of hypericum and it has this really really deep 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 red color which is beautiful the reason I use hypericum I love using it for um, inflammation so anyone who has joint pain um, muscle pain um, also hypericum is really good as a flower essence for connecting um, back to the soul essence so it's kind of like bringing yourself some wholeness it can be really really supportive if for example you know your back is sore or your neck is sore because you've been overworking these oils are so so gentle and kind of like a reminder of your worth and worthiness you don't have to take on all that struggle yourself you know you have that really energetic connection with them Add hypericum to an oil such as sunflower or um, almond in a um, in a ten percent ratio um, because it's too thick to go onto the skin by itself. It just it just won't go through that layer. Now the beautiful thing is that the um, when you're using aromatherapy, the uh, the um, the carrier oil acts as an emollient so it softens the skin and it allows the essential oil to pass through the skin layer through the epidermis into the bloodstream which is why that we have to use such um, clinical practices in aromatherapy as well and be careful about what what ratios we're doing and, and all of those things so yeah hypericum is a wonderful wonderful oil to use for inflammation pain all of those things um, the next oil I'm going to tell you about is carrot Carrot's another, I love to use carrot um, before I go to bed because it, it gives me like a yellowy glow <laughs> but it's really really deep nourishing moisture into the skin and I use my carrot oil um, on my face, it's deeply deeply um, rejuvenating for the skin and um, I use it with oils such as um, lavender, ylang ylang, um, marjoram because it's like taking, when you're massaging your face before you go to bed, you're taking your mask off, you know, you're really, really relaxing all the muscles 
and it's a really ritualistic so that's beautiful that's um, using carrot oil carrot oil will stain so will hate so will hypericum you know so the best thing to do is you know get yourself out of the bath out of the shower dry yourself thoroughly then stay in the bathroom maybe around the bath apply the oil let it sink in for a while and then you know wear some if you need if you're going to wear some um clothes onto that area um you know it's not your best whites basically because it, it will it does have the tendency to stain slightly i tend to use them both um, around my neck area and my face as well the next oil which is absolutely beautiful for aging skin you know over 50s um to add a really beautiful bit of luxury is rosehip oil rosehip oil can be added to again to almond oil or sunflower oil to add a much much deeper richness and it has its own fragrance as well and i use hypericum carrot and rosehip in my bump blend that i create for, for women during pregnancy because it's so they're so so rich it's like extra collagen it's really really rejuvenative and yeah I don't have any stretch marks after my four children so it's yeah they're, they're really really um nourishing nourishing oils um the final oil i'd like to tell you about is almond oil now almond oil this sounds really obvious but i'm going to say it anyway almond oil is a nut oil okay if you have a nut allergy you might not want to use almond oil almond oil is richer than um sunflower oil so i don't tend to use um almond oil for the children so if i'm if i've got um a chest rub or a back rub for the children that i need to use um my oldest is is 11 at the moment and really their skin is you know it doesn't almond oil is too much for them to take on you know they don't need a lot so i tend to use sunflower oil with the children um but almond oil all adults if you're not allergic to nuts it's a really really good basic oil to use do not use cooking oil as a um as a carry oil or or use something cheap i'll tell you why because it goes into your body you know it goes into your skin it goes into your body and there's so many nutrients and properties of those oils that we've seen you know you, through the rosehip oil you're going to get your vitamin c um the, the carrot oil you've got so many so many nutrients going into your skin and into your bloodstream that you just would not want to use a um, an oil that's been superheated to look the same as all the other oils in the supermarket and has all of its basic has all of its nutrients blasted out of it essentially so yeah be really really careful about which um, carrier oils you're using it's just it's important to have a good carrier oil as it is to have um, a good quality um, essential oil. Okay, um, any questions about carrier oils, you can post them under here. I would love to, I'd love to support you on that. Um, and just remember, yeah, if you're going for a certain carrier oil, just ask yourself, is that the best for my skin? If you're finding that it's not rubbing in or it's you, you're ending up really tacky or greasy, that's not the right oil for you to be using. Okay, equally, Think about your body you know your extremities your feet probably need they'll they're going to need the lower legs further away from your heart you're going to have much deeper oils like your hypericum or your carrot going into that area rather than simply your almond oil as well especially if that area is dry wound healing so if you've got scars or bruises or even um like blistering or anything like that um, or burns you know you can use um these carrier oils um on those areas but make sure that you use for example hypericum is fantastic for burns with with oils such as lavender and stops inflammation and you can put the oil on and then wrap it in cling film to keep the area completely um clean as well so any of those other tips um yeah just post a question underneath here lots of love and i hope that's really helpful and enjoy using your aromatherapy oils and really trust yourself you know um you can tell a lot by the results so if it's working fantastic if it isn't think again and do a bit more research and find out what what is going to work for you okay thank you so much see you soon bye now